I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction because every decision you make during the Charleston impacts the next. It creates a chain reaction. We're going to test our instincts with randomly dealt tiles and a mock Charleston. We'll do two iterations and we'll make different decisions intentionally and compare results. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer for the two iterations. And then I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a dragon, three, four, five, seven, nine, with a pair of fours and bams, four, six, eight, nine, with a pair of sixes and dots, and then a one, seven crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on for the first iteration, and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play consecutive run. We even have a hand in here with no gaps. Three, four, five, six dot, seven crack. Fifth hand down under consecutive run. No gaps, leveraging two multiples. The other thing I was thinking is there is some potential for evens. Two, four, six, eight. We have a pair of fours and six, eight, even a four. So I think for the first iteration, I would focus on consecutive run and the next time, We'll use the same tiles and we'll play evens and we'll compare the results. I'm going to take a photo of these dealt tiles so we can recreate it. So we're going to pass these, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's keep the four. Four, six. Let's pass one of each suit. One, eight, nine. I'm gonna take a photo of that so we can recreate it. So we got a flower, I would keep it. We have a four, four, six, four, four. We did pick up a two. Let's pass these three. I'll take a photo of that. We have a three, six, seven. So here we have three through seven. We have two tiles we can pass and a flower. I wouldn't pass flower. Three, four, five, six, seven. Joker bait, maybe. I have videos on joker bait if you want to know about that strategy. Basically, you hold tiles you don't need, these pairs, and then in the middle game, like the third wall, you discard one. Somebody claims it, makes an exposure with a joker, and on your next turn, you make the exchange and get a joker. I was thinking maybe we could switch to like numbers with fours. Maybe let's keep the four and pass the three. So let's take a photo. So we picked up a green dragon. That kind of fits in right here. We could also maybe play like numbers with fours. I still think this consecutive hand is best. So let's pass these three. We picked up a flower three, four, five consecutive run, or we could play, let's see, four, if we can get a five crack, we could play four, five, six, mixed suit. 
let's since we have the flowers in there we could do like numbers with flowers and dragons but we have no white dragon and those are rarely passed let's let the dragon go we'll take a photo we have a four like numbers with fours or consecutive run we picked up the five here's that other hand four five six since this hand four five six no no it's three four five six seven we need three consecutive pairs I think what I would rather do is focus on four five six we have one more pass I would let the seven go keep like numbers we could even do three four five six single pair pung single pair pung kong or we could even do like numbers with fours I would pass two blind I think because we have all good tiles here let's see four five six single pair pung kong I think I would pass two blind write hashtag cringe in the comment section below if that makes you cringe six crack I don't think that's going to be helpful though here we have four five sometimes I like to just put everything in order take a peek four five six three four five six four six we have four five let's see four five six that would use three multiples three multiples there or we could do like numbers with fours and use three multiples there the hand with single pair pung kong single pair pung kong uses two multiples so what I would do is I would focus on consecutive run four four five six flowers and I would let these go or like numbers with flowers so I would pass fully for optional cross we got the seven back we don't have the five BAM anymore though so I would discard those we have four discards and options either like numbers with fours or four five six mixed suit so now let's see if evens is a better choice for these tiles I'm going to reset everything and then we'll go again this is what we started with and these are the Charleston passes so we're going to hold 2468 and we'll compare to see which is better we have six tiles maybe we could use that dragon there is an offsuit dragon hand two four bam six eight dot red dragon so let's pass these and we'll break up the mold the uh, like numbers so let's pass nine seven and then maybe a five let's put a little number in there let's make this one a little more benign let's pass these three Okay, so we picked up a two and a four and a flower there are flowers in the two four six eight category and we have tiles we can pass right here we got a keeper six we'll keep it and we have tiles we can pass we got a keeper dragons and a nine so now we have to make a choice we have four six eight two six four eight 
So for 2468, we have no four crack. I think maybe one of the dragons can go. 2468. Let's let the green dragon go. Because if we get a two bam, we could do two four bam, six eight in dots and the red dragon. If we get a two dot, we could play the first hand, or there are two others as well. Let's let this six crack go and hold the two. It's our only two. Flower. And we have tiles we can pass. We need to make a choice here. Flowers, four, six, eight. I think what I would do, let the two go and hope for the two dot. It's a gap. Okay, we've got, oh, six, four, six, four, six, eight. And here's a four. This, this could work. There are gaps though. We have two tiles. Four, six. There's a hand, the concealed hand. Two bam, four, six in dots and eight. So I think I would keep the eight. We could play like numbers with fours. Four, six, eight. Let's let the six go. We'll pass these. We got sixes. We pass the six. There's four, six. Four, six, seven, eight. A lot of two, four, six, eight, but no twos. Four, six, eight. So we have no twos. I think what I would do is probably focus on like numbers with fours, joker bait, maybe if we get the two play two, four, six, eight flowers. So I think I would let those go. Try to get a, do a full pass to try to get some help in here. No keepers, we got like numbers, and we got a dragon. I think I would keep it. We could maybe use it with like numbers. So we're in between two, four, six, eight with flowers, or like numbers with fours. We have three discards and options. So I think there's one tile different, but we have a gap with no two that's a single tile. I think this hand really wanted to be like numbers. And there's no gaps there. I think we're in between. I think uh, too that consecutive run is a little more flexible than evens. So I think that the results were equitable. American Mahjong is very flexible. Well, really Mahjong in general is very flexible. The key is making the right decisions at the right time, building around the strength of your hand. When you get your dealt hand, look for multiples first. If you don't have multiples, build around the predominant pattern. Gather tiles that support the strength of your hand. If you end the Charleston with four discards or less, I would call that a success. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.